So you're interested in providing remote patient monitoring program, but not sure where to start? In this video, we'll discuss the step-by-step -step process of setting up and implementing remote patient monitoring. Hi, this is Seth from ThoroughCare. We specialize in helping organizations manage, bill, and streamline reimbursements for value-based care programs like remote patient monitor. Starting an RPM program or adding it to your existing care management offerings provides a boost in revenue. Achieving higher performance metrics, decreasing readmissions, and offering patients more affordable healthcare access also helps the transition to value-based care. Now, let's discuss how to get your own RPM program off the ground. The first step is to identify a need and form your team. The need can address a current issue you're experiencing, such as high readmission rates or unnecessary office visits. Starting an RPM program can also enhance an opportunity, such as adding a new revenue stream or supplementing a chronic care management program. The size of your team will depend on your organization's needs. For example, a small private practice may have one dedicated resource to manage the program, while a larger operation might have a whole team of clinicians and administrators. In either case, provider and leadership buy-in is essential. There are many ways that a care coordination software can help your team manage patients efficiently. By streamlining remote patient monitoring processes, automating claims, and analyzing data, Software like ThoroughCare can enhance the patient and care team experience. The next step is to set your goals. When thinking about running a successful RPM program, what does that look like? There are four areas of value you should consider when defining success. Health outcomes, patient experience and engagement, financial reimbursements, and provider satisfaction. After setting some goals, you'll need to determine which RPM devices you'll provide to your patients. While it may be intimidating to purchase remote devices up front, keep in mind that you'll earn your money back from reimbursement codes within one or two months. Additionally, if you're already offering other care management programs like chronic care management or behavioral health integration, you can apply revenue from those programs to offset device costs. If you're investing in care coordination software to manage your program, Ensure it integrates with the devices you select. Once integrated, devices transmit and record patient readings within the software and allow you to set target ranges. Clinicians are notified by various alerts when patient readings fall outside the recommended ranges. Next, you'll want to identify and recruit patients. The best method for finding your eligible patients for your RPM program is to organize your patient population into segments. Medicare Part B covers 80% of RPM costs nationwide, so you'll want to start with these patients. Commercial insurance and Medicare supplements may cover a percentage of the cost, with some secondary insurance covering the difference. Next, break your list down into short-term or long-term patients. Short-term care includes post-acute care management for post-surgery patients or those who qualify for transitional care management program. Long-term care most commonly describes patients with chronic conditions that last at least a year and up to the end of life. Long-term care patients may already be enrolled in a chronic care management or principal care management program. Patients can be enrolled in RPM at the same time and Medicare will reimburse for both programs in the same month. Next, you can segment your population by conditions and diseases. Patients with different conditions have different goals, so your treatment methods and success metrics will vary. You'll also want to identify patients who understand technology. While RPM devices are typically easy to use, you'll want to recruit patients who can learn quickly and adapt to this new form of care. You can invite patients to join your RPM program in person via an outreach campaign or over the phone. You might want to try a combination of approaches depending on the size and reach of your practice. For best results, you'll want to introduce the program in person during an office visit. This allows you to explain the benefits of RPM to patients and address any questions that might come up. You can then enroll the patient in the program and capture consent. The next step is to train patients and clinicians. When training patients, focus on setting expectations, answering questions, and highlighting the goals of the program. When training clinicians, you'll want to focus on device utilization. It's important to have the proper training materials in place so the clinician is knowledgeable about the program itself, the devices your practice is using, and how to educate patients. 
When training providers, it's important to highlight the importance of RPM services for patients. Providers must communicate the patient's suitability for receiving a remote device and clearly outline how the care team will provide support. If implemented correctly, a successful remote patient monitoring program will enhance patient outcomes and satisfaction, ultimately leading to improved quality scores and shared savings. Now you're ready for the final step of the process, which is start delivering RPM to your patients. Once your program is up and running, you'll want to track the baseline metrics. This way you can compare results one, two, or six months into the program to determine its success and identify areas for improvement. This is where software like ThoroughCare can offer a tremendous benefit. With our analytics program, providers can create interactive reports and visualization tools and use real-time analysis to make adjustments for more valuable care. As you can see, there are many important steps to consider when starting a remote patient monitoring program. If you're interested in learning more about how ThoroughCare can help with care coordination, please reach out using the link below. Please click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and there you have it.